At a landfill, leachate is generated from rain percolating through the waste where it picks up chemicals and nutrients. It is collected and then either treated on site through an expensive system or sent to a wastewater treatment plant. Current treatment and disposal methods often have negative effects on the environment, including heavy truck traffic and greenhouse gas emissions. Ultimately, some contaminants pass through the treatment systems and into our rivers and streams. In 2010, a landfill in Mississippi was looking for an innovative way to manage its leachate on site. So they hired an environmental engineering firm that had experience with phytoremediation and using hybrid poplar trees to consume wastewater. After exploring options, the firm proposed a new type of system that would use the leachate to irrigate fields of vetiver on top of the landfill. Vetiver was a perfect choice because it has high water demand and high tolerance to contaminants. They consulted with world vetiver expert Dr. Paul Trung during the design process and a year later installed a three acre system or about 1.2 hectares using about 75,000 vetiver plants. The project was deemed the first of its kind in the U.S. and ended up winning a National Engineering Award. The system is still in operation and the plants are growing well. Since it started, the vetiver has consumed more than 8.3 million gallons and has helped the facility avoid over a million dollars in off-site disposal costs. Two of the lead engineers at the firm decided they wanted to focus solely on nature-based wastewater systems, so they formed their own company called Leachate Management Specialists. The team further developed the plant-based technology and started promoting it as phytoutilization, which they defined as the use of fast-growing and non-invasive plants to consume liquid waste to greatly reduce or eliminate the need for other disposal methods in a green and sustainable way. Now, instead of hauling the leachate off-site or treating it through some expensive process, it is collected and pumped through our fully automated filtration and distribution system to the top of the landfill where it irrigates rows of specially selected plants like vetiver that have a very high water demand and the ability to thrive in harsh conditions. The liquid is distributed in the field through a slow drip irrigation system over a large area. The field is typically split up into zones of operation to cycle between areas and set volumes based on field capacity and conditions. Our fighter utilization system facilitates leachate disposal on site by leveraging the natural abilities of the plants to consume and transpire leachate. The liquid is taken up through the root system and either used for its growth or transpired into the air. At the same time, some contaminants in the wastewater act as nutrients for the plants, while others undergo a number of possible scenarios within the root zone or within the plant, including, but not limited to, phyto extraction, phyto stabilization, and phyto degradation. After all of the design and permitting steps are completed and the system is ready for installation, vetiver slips are delivered to the site. We are fortunate to have multiple suppliers based in the U.S. who we can rely on to provide high quality plants as needed. We plant the vetiver in double rows based on our site specific design of the irrigation system and to help with maintenance. A key to any vetiver project is making sure that they are planted correctly and that they get plenty of fresh water to start. Then three months later, the field should be looking good and the leachate can be introduced. In addition to the first Mississippi project, our employees have been involved with the installation of eight more vetiver systems, including three in Mexico. One system in Louisiana has already consumed more than 4.4 million gallons, or about 16.6 million liters, and has helped the landfill avoid over $800,000 in offsite disposal costs since 2014. A project like this consists of multiple disciplines such as engineering, computer modeling, chemistry, biology, agronomy, pipe fitting, and electrical work. So it is essential that experienced personnel are involved and consulted throughout the process. These systems will fail without the proper design and agronomic maintenance. We complete annual operation and maintenance activities at our systems to ensure everything is running smoothly and the vetiver is growing well. This includes inspecting the control system components and performing any troubleshooting that might be needed, as well as assessing the plants through field inspections and collecting samples for lab analysis. This type of system certainly doesn't fit every facility, but when it does, there are many benefits. Vetiver phytosystems help reduce carbon footprints by sequestering CO2 and replacing tanker truck emissions. 
They don't use a lot of highly mechanized components or fuel to operate, so they are relatively much easier and cheaper to maintain. They also may reduce or eliminate the dependence on wastewater treatment plants. If the leachate can be managed on site through a natural system, a landfill can avoid millions of dollars in off-site disposal costs. Other benefits include creating habitat for wildlife and improving the facility's aesthetics, which are always good public relations opportunities. We promote the technology as a win-win-win solution for the environment, industry, and community.